It's to Whoa, 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 whoa! She's pregnant? What the fuck? Who's the father? That's the real question. Who are potential candidates? I mean, Aaron... I mean, that man is mad sexy right now, but... Everybody, hope y'all doing well, ladies and gentlemen. It is finally the long awaited Attack on Titan Day, baby. And your boy is here, ready to watch along with you guys, like always, bro. I always have to say this too at the start of every video, but thank you so much, everybody, for the love and support you guys have been showing the Attack on Titan series thus far, bro. This has definitely became my most popular series I've ever had on the channel, and it's really crazy because, like, bro, like, I feel like I'm not doing anything special, dude. I th just thank you guys so much for everyone that clicks on these videos, giving me a chance to entertain you guys. You know, I'm just trying to have fun, man. I'm just trying to watch a series that I, I love so much and you know just have a camera on my face recording my reactions to it But like just thank you so much for everybody Leaving the supportive comments everything like that you guys are the true MVPs But man, I am excited for today's episode It feels like we are still in the stage of like world building and you know like build up right now uh, Judging from the preview um, that we saw uh, for this episode in the last episode at the end of the last episode, of course End of the last episode. We're back in parody right now. You know, we're back at the walls and shit like that, bro Aaron, it looks like that man is like locked up, bro You know, he got the man bun right now. He looking mad sexy. Uh, we also got more insight into new characters like Elena and uh, On Yankopon if I'm still pronouncing that wrong shit. I'm sorry guys. I'm trying Yo, the comments on my last video about the way I pronounced my man's name was hilarious because I pronounced it like onion coupon and I guess it's not onion coupon. It's onion coupon. I hopefully I'm still pronouncing. I hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, bro. If I'm not, I I'm sorry, guys. Like I said, I'm trying, bro. But yeah, I, I love the both of them. Yelena on onion coupon. They're both dope as hell. Um, but yeah, what basically it was just going more inside about like Zeke's plan, uh, to use the founding Titans power and stuff like that and you know it was kind of you know just going like basically like after sasha's death and you know just flashbacks and stuff like that just a lot of lore a lot a lot of unpack there so i feel like we're still in that realm like i said before but regardless i'm still excited because it's a new attack on time episode and i'm always ready for those guys so I think that's about it. There are enough talking. I'm ready to watch, man. Make sure to subscribe, guys. We're trying to hit that 100,000 subscribers together. We're super close, like really, really close. So if you can hit that subscribe button, it can really, it will really mean the world to me, man. And also make sure to hit that like button. It really helps the boy out a lot as well. But nonetheless, everybody, let's get it. Jesus, dude, this dude Aaron is so diesel now. This man tall and ripped as fuck. It's glad to see this girl Hanji kind of like trying to play around with him. So it's like, what are you fighting? You know, like she's always she's always trying to spite my man Aaron, bro. Yeah, Hanji, I agree. His hair does look pretty fucking cool. Damn, Aaron, okay. Damn, that is crazy, dude. They really did a callback to that when they were, you know, just talking about Titans all, all night long. This dude Aaron has changed, man, bro. You see, like his demeanor, bro. Like first of all, that dude is ripped and tall as a motherfucker now jesus bruh like that dude looks like a menace man that seems kind of weird because it felt kind of funny but it also felt really sad at the same time because like you can tell like hanji always does that where like she's kind of like she's kind of like uh like memeing with aaron a lot dude like i remember when like aaron said like oh i'm the attack titan and hanji was like oh the attack titan like what, what are you doing trying to introduce her titan name like she's like she's like a really like she's a jokester right like she's joking a, a lot with him and you can tell that Aaron this time, like, this dude was not having it. Like, this man, like, he's like, what the fuck do you want, Hanji? Like, why are you here, dude? Like, why do you keep babbling on? And, like, Hanji's like, yo, we didn't we used to talk all the time about Titans and stuff like this? And, you know, what we're going to do, man? Like, it, like, it, it, it has that comedy side to it. But, like, at the same time, it's like, damn, that's really sad, bro. How, like, just, like, just things have ended up, man. I mean, I do still feel that Aaron has justified motives he, I, I feel like he doesn't hate hanji but he just you know he doesn't like that hanji probably doesn't understand that he has to fight to achieve his freedom but all right go ahead and drop that a sound argument episode 69 that we're on i think we're on episode 10 i believe right now whatever the hell we want to call it okay two years ago huh hey yo my girl yelena <laughs> This man oh, Levi is so I short. Get Holy get shit. God damn. I, I, can't, I, I forget that that dude is actually like tiny. Damn, this looks beautiful right now. 
Oh, shit. Yo, that's the girl that Udo spilt the, the wine on. Damn, so she was in on it. Everyone looks fucking beautiful, dude. Like, Jesus. Oh, she has the same symbol, yep. Really? Yo. Whoa, okay, so Mikasa is like... Okay, that's kind of crazy. God damn, dude. This man picks is looking like Mega Mine out here. Look at this dude's head. Your wrist right off. It's sorry. It's because she loves Aaron, bro. That's like her ride or die right there, you know? It's nice to see uh, his story again, though. Like, interact with the crew. Hey, yo, Aaron's smiling, bro. That's, hey, that's rare nowadays, bro. Hey, you love to see it, bro. You love to see it. And they calling her Lady Mikasa. So once again, dude, Zeke planned this already. Oh, that's the ODM gear. I always wondered what he did with that, you know, like what he did with the ODM gear and that information, but I guess I know now. Damn, so Mikasa, we, we, we getting used like that? Yo, they really just chasing that bread right now? You, see, you saw the way that girl licked her lips as soon as like, she was talking about the money, bro? She was sus as hell. A sample of the rumbling? What, are we gonna send like a couple titans out of the wall to just go fuck some shit up? How the hell are we about to do that? Okay, I don't know about these terms, yo. See, that's what I'm saying. It's kind of like history just repeats itself. Is that Pixis? Damn, dude, that's kind of crazy. Nah, Historia, we're not we're not doing this shit right now, bro. I could not see Historia as the Beast Titan either. Bro, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, we're just like fucking animals right now. Like, we really just gotta, like, force breeding right now? Damn, he said, yo, tell my brother to fuck off right now. It's really strange to see exactly how deep this actually, like, runs, man. Like, like Zeke is so involved bro like like he the, so that's what he did with the odm game he brought it back he gave it to uh the lady right there that udo spilled the wine on like i, I remember that like that's kind of crazy that she had like a little bit of callback because i always wondered i'm like oh uh, maybe she was just nice but like okay so she actually has like some you know importance to the story right now because yo like she brought like this whole whole all these papers like oh yeah here's the contract here's the points that we need to you know go check off right now if we were to uh, use the rumbling to protect parody. It's like, oh, you know, we did, we need to do a little test run. I'm like, how the fuck are we gonna do a test run with, 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 with sending these colossal titans in the wall that just goes fuck some shit up? You know, a little test run of that. And then it's like, oh, yeah, you know, we need to pass down a founding, the founding titan and the beast titan. You know, have your kids, have as many kids as possible, uh, you know, so we can keep this shit going. And everyone was like, yo, what the hell? And then, like, yeah, dude, like, like, it's it kind of crazy how we're basically like i think aaron said it best like yo we're like we're kind of just cattle forced to breed right now like we're not gonna and then hanji was like yo we are not you know putting our burden on our future generations like we are gonna solve this problem right now there's not really like a good way to go about things right now i can, I can definitely see like everyone is in a tight spot right now like aaron he has his own you know sense of justice right now like he kind of in his mind he's determined to do what he has to do you know, the other people, there's probably people that agree with the plan. There's probably people that want to find something else. Like, everyone really has different conflicting viewpoints right now. And I think that's really interesting. And I'm really curious to see the boiling point of everything. Because obviously, you know, there's going to be some conflict that's arising right now. Like, as you can tell, like Hanji and Aaron right now, obviously, they're not in the on the best of terms. So, that's crazy. And also, Mika says she has, like, the crest. So, like... She has like some, you know, uh, involvement with uh, the clan that came over with the lady and shit like that, right? And then like the lady, like apparently like they just want the bread and shit like that. So, damn, bro. But, all right, guys, let's just continue because so far there's a lot of just like uh, there's a lot of stuff to unpack. So like I'm kind of trying to uh, piece everything together. But let's continue. I ate the warhammer. That is true. I'm wondering how Aaron is gonna be able to use that power. Like, is Aaron literally just gonna be able to create weapons? I wonder how his Titan form will look now, you know? Damn! Dude, that, that's a threat. This dude, Aaron, is on demon time. Really? All right, Aaron, let's relax a little bit, bro. Let's relax a little bit. You perv! <laughs> Jesus. No, you can tell that. Hanji was scared there a little bit, bro. I'm sorry. I have to pause again, bro. Did you see how this man, Aaron, looked right here? The, like, the marks appear around his eyes? I didn't even know he can do that. He can just, you know, he can literally like show a little bit of his Titan power a little bit. Like the, the marks appeared around his eyes. The lightning, you know, was lit up. And he was telling Hanji, he's like, Hanji, I ate the Warhammer Titan. There is no prison or wall that can hold me anymore. I can break out of here anytime I want. You can't kill me because I had the Founding Titan and you can't kill Zeke either. So Hanji, what is it you're trying to do here? It's really, damn, bro. 
it, it, you can tell like Hanji right there, like she kind of played it off a little bit. She's like, oh, Aaron, you pervert. You fucking touch me in your rebellious face. But you can tell like when she was getting grabbed like this, you can tell like Hanji, she's like, fuck, dude. Like th this is not the Aaron that I knew. Like I cannot be joking around anymore like this. Oh my God, dude, that man Aaron is on demon time right now. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do like this development in this character, but I do kind of like, cause I, I, I still feel that Aaron, he, He's trying to do what he has to do, right? He, he, I feel like he's, he does still care about Hanji, like I said, but like, ah, man, dude, I feel like everyone's starting to become really scared of him. That's why. And that's what I'm scared of too, because I feel like they're going to turn their backs on Aaron and I really don't want to see that, Ben. It's going to break my heart, but <sighs> shit. All right, Aaron, like he needed to calm down a little bit right there. That dude was about to, that, that man might've killed Hanji right there. Damn, Hanji's like, yo, Erwin, like you made me commander. I don't know what the hell to do. Like, I, she has so much weight on her. Histo whoa, 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 his story. Okay, I, <laughs> I'm i sorry. I'm pausing right now, guys. I'm sorry. There's just a lot of, like, these key mo- Okay. First, let's rewind. Historia. She's pregnant? What the fuck? Who's the father? That's the real question. Who is the- Who are potential candidates? I mean, Aaron- I mean, that man is mad sexy right now, but I know Mikasa, Mikasa would probably go the fuck off, especially if it's Historia, you know, Mikasa and Historia, <laughs> you know, especially dealing with Aaron, man, a little shaky right there. Who the, who could be the father, man? Like, I, I can't really think of anybody that really interacted with Historia on that type of level, except like, Reiner, but like, Reiner, obviously, like, that man can't, couldn't have done it. Aaron, like I said, but like, ugh, I still can't do it. Jean, uh, Jean, uh, Armin, shit, I don't know, bro. I don't know who could be the father, man. But <laughs> what is happening? Aaron's on demon time. Uh, 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 fucking Historia's pregnant. Yo, what have my beloved characters, you know, have come to right now? Shit is going crazy. Damn, so the see the military police right now, they're like, yo, we should have fed Zeke to Historia, bro. And they talking shit, bro. Oh my, yo, we need to slap some sense into them. Damn, so he used to, the partner used to bully her back in the day? Okay, so it's like a, it's a random person, I guess. Damn, we really working on the railroad right now? God damn, Mikasa. Yo, she carried like three steel beams. Isn't that shit heavy as hell? You're all growing so damn big. This man Levi's so short. He's starting to get a little jealous. Damn, so we really like... They're really just trying to use us as pawns. That's what I'm saying, Armin. Like, people, they assume stuff all the time. Like, they think... There's so many, like, real world themes put into Attack on Time that I really like a lot. And people fear what they don't know, man. Exactly. So I guess this is where they started to plan to go to Marley right now. Because they said, like, yo, we got to make a base there. But we know now that, like, Aaron kind of went over there on his own accord. And he, he he didn't go there to make a base. He went there to destroy. Dog, I totally forgot Aaron only has five years left, too. Yo, really? We're going to decide who inherits the Titan? You see how quick Mikasa was like, I'm going to do it, Aaron. <laughs> this dude shot a clown, bro. This man shot was like, I'm going to inherit the Titan. Don't worry, I got it. Connie? I definitely cannot see Connie, bro. Maybe I could see Jean a little bit as the attack titan, but, uh, and the founding a little bit, I guess. Everyone wants to inherit it. Everyone's like offering, like, all inherit it. I know it, it's a cool ability. I get it, but like, goddamn. Yo, this dude, Connie. What the? This interaction is funny as hell, dude. You're important to me more than anyone. See, that's, that's what I'm saying, bro. Aaron really doesn't want to put the burden of having to someone, one of his friends having to inherit the titan from him. Like he, uh, it's obvious that he has good intentions. It's just the way he's going about things may leave a bad impression on on, on some people, you know? <laughs> this dude is mad embarrassed. He really just said like, yo, I care about you guys, you know? Everyone blushing right now, man. Even that man, Armin. This dude is Jean, like the biggest tsundere ever known. Yo, exactly, dude. Free Yelena. Free my man on Yankapon. They didn't do shit. Damn, that man Kai said, yo, did that even look like Aaron to you guys? Dude, this is what I'm saying, dude. The conflicting sides right now. This is exactly what I was saying, too. Like, I'm, I'm scared that people are going to turn my turn their back on them. I would say desperate times call for desperate measures, but... Yo. De oh, that shit is hard, bro. That shit was hard. She was like, yo, I know you guys are having all your doubts, but you remember that Aaron cares about us. 
more than anyone the call back to what they just said because i was in the flashback you know when they were on the train and shit like that right yo the dialogue in this show is always hitting and this is exactly what i was so scared of too dude like like you can tell like connie was like man like that did not look like aaron to me dude like that is not the aaron i know like he would really side with zeke you know you know the plan to use historia like we really going along with this shit, dude and it's just like i mean i can't really blame him because like you know sometimes we're pushing to, to a corner and sometimes we have to do like it's kind of like the lesser of two evils you know it's like we we're kind of low on options we're low on time we don't know what to do hanji she even said like yo i don't know what to do as a commander i don't know why er, like er, erwin like this was his mistake everyone is having doubts right now and everyone you know tensions are rising everywhere that man aaron obviously he has his mind made up it's clear that man has his mind made up to a t bro like that dude is ready to, to you know to to accomplish what he has to do i mean i know attack on titan has never been the happiest show where it has the happiest endings but man bro like i am like i'm i'm rooting for 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 shit to work out right now because stuff it, it's just depression it's just real depression hours right now hey jean kind of spin though a little bit right there that is true too he just trust us oh my connie you did not have to bring that up man that dude laughed that man was obviously distressed though connie i know the dude was laughing a little bit but come on it's obviously he was distressed as well just me and me okay maybe that's what we need maybe you know maybe we need the trio to talk it over a little bit okay like i said dude like it's easily explainable why aaron was laughing like this is not the first time that aaron has laughed when somebody close to him has died uh remember hannes when the smiling titan fucking ate him bro you know and aaron couldn't transform he was laughing it, I mean, I guess it's kind of like a little bit of like a coping mechanism to laugh, it, but like it's not just like laughter, like it's like distressed laughter. Like he, like he laughed when Hannes died, but he like he broke down afterwards, though. You know, it's just like it's kind of like I feel like deep down, Aaron does know that like it was his fault in a way that Sasha did die because he brought the scouts into battle, right? And you know, he he knew that like damn, like this is the result of my actions. But you can see himself talking in the mirror, you know, in, in the prison cell right now. Like, dude, like, fight. Like, some, like, sometimes I have to do this. Like, if I'm going to save everybody, like, sometimes I have to make these sacrifices. I have to bear the weight of all of humanity on myself right now. And that's what makes Aaron a great character because you can, you can, you can see, I feel like you can see him from so many angles and so many viewpoints because obviously... It's not like, um, I, I don't think uh, Connie's in the wrong for thinking that Aaron was laughing and like, you know, you know, maybe Aaron has lost it a little bit when Sasha died because, you know, I, I feel like normally people don't laugh when when loved ones are killed. But, you know, Aaron, he's just he's just a special case. But like, like I said, like, it's obviously that man was distressed. Like he was laughing because he was remembering the good memories that he had with Sasha. Like, you know, like when she brought the meat from the store, like from the storage when they were all cadets. And then, you know, obviously when he kind of snapped back to reality and he realized like damn you know one of my closest friends that i've been with for years is gone and you can tell like he kind of like you know he he broke down a little bit right there and i feel like that's that's normal man but damn 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 see everyone right now is just dude this is just it's really just it's really just sad to see damn so this man zeke is still oh shit that was it that was the definition of a tense as hell episode. I apologize, guys, if I wasn't talking as much. I did a lot of pausing because I feel like there was just a lot to unpack in this episode, dude. Like these two episodes back to back, like um, Brave Volunteers and A Sound Argument, two heavily information, you know, you know, dense episodes. And I just, I, I kind of, you know, I, I had to talk about it, you know, I had to pause. I'm just trying to think how this could end like i'm i don't know I, I, it feels like everyone's gonna go with the plan you know to you know side with zeke right now i like aaron said like there's nothing you can do i have the warhammer titan you can't kill me because i had the founding titan what the fuck are you guys gonna do that that was a really really cool scene though about aaron's character and how 
how far he's come and developed. All right, let's watch this preview though. Let's get it. Exactly. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, hey, hey! That's come to hey. Okay, preview. Okay, really, man? Really? I mean, I don't know if that's like too too deep of a spoiler. It's like. Gabby and Falco escape from prison. Well, I guess, I mean, I don't know how. I don't know how, but okay, let's just continue. Let's just continue. Hopefully, the preview doesn't go too deep. God damn. I mean, I guess it's, it's minor. It's minor. It's fine. It's fine. It's minor. But okay, let's see. They receive a helping hand from who? The devil they're meant to hate. Is that Historia? Deceiver. Okay, it was Hanji and Floak there for a little bit. Cause it was a girl with blonde hair. I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, Historia, you know, they're out, they, they escape from prison. They're out in like the woods, the farmlands and stuff like that. I'm like, I guess that's not that big of a spoiler. It, it probably would have been just explained in like the first couple minutes in the next episode, but okay. That next episode is going to be interesting. Cool. So we're going back to Gabby and Falco, uh, you know, more of them. I'm really curious to see, I mean, Gabby's still probably full of hatred. Falco just, ah, oh, damn, dude. I, I feel bad for Falco, dude. Like, that dude does not deserve any of this, dude. This man is trying to prevent as much conflict as possible. And this dude is just getting thrusted into the middle of everything. I, I said this before. I, I, I was like, I, I, I'm really curious to see how a conversation, you know, with Gabby and, you know, a, a you know, a devil of parody would go. So, like, I guess Historia is going to talk to Gabby and Falco a little bit right there. It seemed like. So that should, should be interesting with the next episode. Deceiver, too. That's a cool-ass name, too. But yeah, everybody, that is the Attack on Titan episode for today. I just have so many, like, thoughts running through my mind right now. Um, once again, I do apologize, everybody, if I, you know, I wasn't, uh, I guess, you know, talking as much. Or, you know, I was trying I was trying to cover everything that I could in this episode, like I said. Uh, you know, and I tried my best. I still, like, like I said, I do love these episodes that are very lore heavy information packed because it it, it it serves a good building block and foundation for like the actual like upcoming, you know, climax fighting and stuff like that. Because, you know, you know the stuff that led up to that. But yeah, I really enjoyed this one. But that man Aaron, like I said before, is on demon time right now. That dude is just sitting in his cell looking menacing as fuck, plotting, he's thinking, tensions are rising. Everybody's having conflicting opinions with each other. Everyone's doubting each other. It's just there's a lot of internal conflict, a lot of mind games going on around here. And the thing is, I'm just really curious to see how this ends because we only have a couple episodes left in um, the season. Well, I assume there's going to be a part two or a movie. That's where everyone's kind of leading uh, as a consensus because um, they said that the, um, there's no way that they're going to be able to like uh, get to the end of the manga in these next couple of episodes. Like we're still like, you know, still a ways to go from the end uh obviously the manga is still ongoing too like there, i think there's like a uh, chapter or two left i guess we'll see in the next episode deceiver bro but yeah guys that's gonna be it from me boy make sure to subscribe before you head out we're really close to hitting that 100,000 subscribers together guys it's super easy takes like one second of course you guys can always change your mind later also make sure to hit that like button as well it really helps your boy out a lot but nonetheless guys it's been your boy ivory and i'm out peace